kind of a noise. So I just don't have a clue what could be in there. Or what could be growling at these lion. And even how this male, the young male who first went to the bush, knew to go in there. Now, this lioness certainly doesn't look like she has cubs. It could be a den. We could be seeing some tiny little fur balls shortly. That would be nice. She seems to have disappeared into the bush. Maybe it was some cubs. Maybe that explains why she's moved away from the other four lioness. Hi, Nikki. You would like to know how much longer until these young boys get chased out of the pride? And it's probably fairly imminent. Um, in the next, I'd say, six months, they're certainly getting to that age. But it all depends on their fathers, really, because it's the pressure from the fathers that causes the boys to move out. It's not the mothers that will chase the, their sons out. It is their fathers. So, yeah, I would guess within the next six months, maybe a year, if they're lucky, they could tag along. What could have made the noise in this bush? I can't even hazard a guess. I've got no clue. Sadly, no cubs have popped out. We would have noticed the this lioness would have had very distinctive nipples had she have been in the process of raising cubs, which she clearly doesn't. She looks like quite a young lioness. Maybe she's actually never given birth before. Either way, there's something in that bush that obviously doesn't like the fact that lions are poking their head into it <laughs> because it let off some kind of a disgruntled noise. I'm not sure exactly what it was. It was as we turned off the vehicle and I was fidgeting about making some other noises. But certainly something quite interesting. Some zebras yodeling off in the distance. You may have picked that up faintly. Kind of like that. That whistle seems to be more air coming out of my mouth than actual noise. It goes like that sometimes with me. I'm not sure about you guys. I'm not the best whistler. <laughs> Especially when I'm excited, like trying to whistle down a taxi, I just go... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's an absolutely beautiful morning. There's an interesting haze that I haven't actually experienced yet in one of these Mara mornings. And if you look out in that direction there where Mono was showing you, there's definitely a bit of a haze. And it's creating what I think are some beautiful scenes, different to the norm. Also quite nice that the sun is poking out because it's warming us up. It was quite a cold night. Mono and I have been out since 11 o'clock last night. Hi, Elizabeth. You'd like to know if Lioness within a pride will share the suckling responsibilities. It depends on the individual pride, but yes, it does happen from time to time. Not all the time. Sometimes Lioness will be quite nasty to little cubs that come and try and suckle from them if they're not their own. But in other cases, it is tolerated. So it kind of just depends on the family. The big man.